Hey guys, um, Tyler here. I'm a student at U of T in the Rotman Commerce program. I am a second year student and I am in this class PCL 102 which is the art of the drug discovery. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about clinical trials. So basically clinical trials are how we develop the medicine of tomorrow. As we've seen in first in human documentary with uh, the, the numerous patients such as Bo Cooper, we know that these people are, are trying their best to hang on to life and to just give a hope for not only themselves but for the next patients. And um, for example, in clinical trials, we uh, aim to find solutions for problems. So basically we're trying to, to find solutions to unmet medical needs, which could be cancer, uh, mental health illnesses, uh, and other uh, diseases of the kind. There are a total of four phases in the clinical trials process. The first phase is basically just to establish safety of the drug and dosage. The second phase is then to establish the effectiveness as well as the short term side effects of the drug in order to make sure that it's safe for the patients and that the benefits outweigh the, the, the negatives. And finally, in the third phase, which is just before phase four, um, we have the, the phase where we examine the long term. Uh, side effects as well as we confirm the effectiveness so that between phase three and phase four we can apply for the drug uh, to be approved by the FDA in the US um, in order to make the drug really available for everyone as well as to be able to then conduct phase four trials which is just basically making sure everything is still smooth with the drug uh, even longer term side effects and just examining the drug and learning more about it in order to make sure that we're not sending something uh, poisonous into the population, for example. Um, finally, my message to you, especially in a time like this with the coronavirus epidemic or just basically the panic that's happening right now, just know that you have a role to play. Just as in this situation, you can wash your hands, make sure you do social distancing, but in clinical trials, you also have a role. You can volunteer doesn't mean you'll be accepted because the process is pretty rigorous, but you can be accepted and then you can test the drugs or you can even make sure that certain side effects don't show up. You can have a in the control group or you can be in the treatment group. So basically the placebo or the current drug would be the control group and then the treatment group would be the new drug just to make sure that we compare uh, something, not just like a normal drug and nothing else to compare so that we, we can see results. And now I'm asking you, Today, now that you know about the clinical trials, what will you be doing in order to shape the medicine of tomorrow?